Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the drugs used to treat leprosy, also called Hanson's disease or Hanson Bacilli disease. Hanson is the name of the scientist who first isolated the microorganism that causes leprosy. Leprosy is a chronic infectious disease caused by Mycobacterium leprae. Mycobacterium leprae is an acid fast bacillus or rod like bacteria that multiplies slowly with an incubation, with an incubation period of five years, but it may be one year, it may be 20 years. So it is infectious, but it is very slowly infectious. <coughs> Leprosy mainly affects the skin. There will be skin depigmentation. There will be there will be skin hyperpigmentation, and also there will be lo loss of sensation to the skin. And there will be involvement of the peripheral nerve. Even the ulnar nerve may be palpated. Or other nerve, some of the nerve in the leg may be palpated. Upper respiratory tract mucosa is often involved in leprosy. Leprosy is transmitted via droplet during close and frequent contact to a patient who is suffering from leprosy. The disease is curable with multi drug therapy. One drug is not suitable for treatment because of chance of getting resistant, especially the drug Depson. So multi-drug therapy is used to check or prevent the development of resistance to the bacteria. So we are looking at a patient who has who has leprosy. We have some skin lesions here. There will be depigmentation okay and there may be partly there may be some hyperpigmentation and we'll get the person has face like lion it is called lean lean faces okay and he will have may have the palpable ulnar nerve and there may be amputation of the finger because of lack of nerve supply there may be blindness. Your skin is always, almost always thickened in a patient of leprosy. Okay, we'll go through that. Now we'll go to the World Health Organization recommended multi drug therapy for leprosy. Types of leprosy, there are many classification of leprosy. We'll go through for treatment. Two classification post C bacillary skin smear is negative, less depigmented skin le lesion in post C bacillary leprosy, multi bacillary leprosy skin smear will be positive. There will be more than five patchy skin depigmented area in multi bacillary bacillary leprosy, plus there will be skin lesion positive. So we have three drug for the leprosy. We use the multi multiple drug according to all organization to prevent drug resistance formation. So daily doses is Depson, Clofagemin, and the and the and these two drug should be given daily, but reform piscin should be used once in the month. Okay, clofazimin 300 milligram should be taken once in a month, but daily doses is 50 milligram. But Depson should be taken on daily basis. Okay, we got that for posse basilary leprosy, it is a six month duration of treatment. For posse basilary, it is a six month duration of treatment. For multi basilary, 12 month therapy. So, if a patient is not for daily, if a patient once in a month, clofazimin 
daily 50 milligram but once in a month it should be 300 milligram Depsin should be taken daily six month therapy for posse basilary leprosy 12 month therapy for multi basilary leprosy we can say it Hansen disease okay so for the children under the age of 15 it, the doses should be determined by the particular physician according to the body weight but this is the rough idea if i'm patient 400 milligram monthly and depths on 50 milligram daily for posse basilary leprosy for multi basilary leprosy if i'm patient 450 milligram and clofazimine 150 milligram monthly clofazimine 50 milligram on all planet days and depths on 50 milligram daily so this is the regimen recommended by world health organization to treat leprosy now learn the adverse effects of anti-leprosy drug depsin hemolysis particularly with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency meth hemoglobinemia peripheral neuropathy, exfoliative dermatitis, lymphadenopathy, hepatosplenomegaly, fever, hepatitis, and erythema nodosa, skin lesion as an adverse effect of depsin. We have many of the adverse effects, especially hemolysis, particularly with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. For clofazimine, red brown discolors on the skin each thiosis is thiosis means dry skin red and lot of itching on the skin on the sheen and other part of the body sheen is the subcutaneous area on the leg over the tibia or eosinophilic enteritis diarrhea and weight loss in case of clofagemin if i'm patient may lead to hepatotoxicity and we have just discussed the drug for the management of leprosy leprosy is a disease it is mildly infectious incubation period is around five years maybe one to twenty years and it is transmitted through droplet infection Worldwide prevalence is 127, 558 cases in 2020. This is the prevalence. Incidence of new cases is around 129,389 new cases. Among them, children under the age of 15 is 8,629 cases according to world health organization and you must remember that treatment is free by the world health organization and it is donated the medications are donated by novartis it can be found from the health center in many part of the world and many countries without any type of cost just patient should comply with the drug six month or 12 month therapy and it is free of cost okay we got that and leprosy is a age old disease it is written in many religious book and many cultures but around 75 percent of the leprosy cases are found in india other found in other part of the world like middle east okay in the united states the number of leprosy is not high okay maybe only a few hundred okay so that's all about the drugs used for management of leprosy multi-drug therapy because we like we like to give multi-drug multi therapy to prevent resistance bacterial resistance bacteria is the mycobacterium leprae that is an acid fast basically okay and that's all about the drug used to treat for leprosy if you have any question please feel free to ask me 
please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now